But what this plastic will do is that it will, uh, it'll allow the soil to warm up, but it will keep the water that's in the soil that I just added here from evaporating. It'll just sort of stay. And so. Hey, it's Greg here with MaritimeGardening.com and I'm out here planting some beans and uh, beans are a pretty easy thing to grow. You're not going to find too many things that are easier to grow, but I thought I'd give you a couple tips on how uh, I plant them. A lot of uh, blogs and you know, garden, you know, if you're on reading in magazines or that sort of thing, they'll suggest that you soak your beans before you plant them. And you can do that, but uh, it's never made any sense to me. Uh, I can't think of any bean that, that we eat that starts its life submerged in water. Can't be any good for the bean. I understand that it accelerates the uh, speed at which the bean, you know, doubles its size and swells up with the water and that sort of thing. But there's another trick you can use in your garden to achieve the same thing, and you don't have to bother with the soaking them. Uh, and it also saves you from having to water them um, while they're germinating. We often get concerned, am I watering too much? <clears throat> am I not watering enough? So. Uh, there's a way you can you can do this that just makes it a lot easier. So let me take you through this. So I got uh, some bush beans I'm going to plant here in this bed. Got two different varieties. Got some I don't know these are sort of a wax bean I guess save variety. I plant a couple of these I do every year, two rows I guess, and um, the rest I'm going to plant. These are all bush beans, but some of these are my own save seeds. I like to use those. I plant maybe one every I don't know let's say. I don't know, four inches or whatever. Not sure what the package says. Whoever whoever reads the packages anyway, right? Uh, so, uh, all right, so I'll get these in the ground here. I, uh, I like to have a degree of order in my garden. I mean, you can see I've sort of made lines, just drew lines in here with a stick, <laughs> of where I wanted the beans to go. Um, and this will, I mean, yes, I'm a no-till gardener. This will be all be mulched as the beans come in. I find if you start them without a mulch, um, you're less likely to get, um, uh, it minimizes the slug damage. You, you can, you can, I mean, you can even jam them into a mulch, it'll work. But uh, I have found you're gonna get less slug damage if you sort of pull it off and then just put it back once they're a certain size. And that, that's another reason why, um, I sort of have everything uh, organized into rows like this so that I can mulch in between the rows. So it's just easier to do that. It, it gives me sort of a, um, a path <laughs> to lay the mulch down. Let me get the rest in here and then I'll show you my, uh, my trick which I'm, for which I'm building all this great suspense. All right, so I've got these all on the ground here and I've left some in reserve for replanting because sometimes, you know, they get taken out by cutworms or whatever, things happen. Um, so uh, I've got these, oh, about an inch to, you know, half an inch to an inch deep in terms of uh, planting depth. Um, just smoothing the soil over these. I mean, you don't have to be completely, you know, militant about your planting depths. I mean, every every seed has a preferred planting depth, and as long as you're reasonably close to it, the, it'll be things will be just fine. All right. This is not the best garden bed for planting beans in because I can only access it from one side. But that's just this bed is that's where it is in its rotation for this year. Um, now, if you want to keep your uh, seeds, this, you know, a good advice for any kind of sowing of seeds. You, you know, you want to have um, good contact with the soil. Here's a bit of leaves and stuff that might pose problems. We'll get that out of the way. Let's toss that out. You, you want to have good contact with the soil, so it's, it's worthwhile. Take a minute with your rake and just give it a, a good tamp down. 
I mean, yes, I'm <laughs> yes, I'm compacting the soil a little bit. Not worried about it. It's all going to be fine. You know, in about a week or two, this whole bed will be mulched and beans will be growing. And uh, I got good soil here. I'm not going to have to water this probably all season long. I, I don't usually have to water beans. They seem to take care of themselves as long as the soil is mulched, right? But the point of doing what I'm doing right now is to simply ensure that the seeds have good contact with the soil. That way they can take up the moisture from the soil more readily. And uh, there's just a ideal situation for them. You gotta remember just about every seed, you know, it, uh, it you know, naturally in nature, seeds fall to the ground in the fall. Right? And they get sort of pushed into the ground with rain and snow and stuff like that over the course of the winter. So once they germinate in the spring when there's lots of water and constant moisture in the spring, right, they're, they're just perfectly sort of nestled into the soil. So I'm just making this, artificially doing that all in a hurry here. Okay, so now we're gonna hit this with, uh, with the water. Got a gallon can here, it's almost full. What's that, four liters, give or take? 3.7 liters, or I don't know what that is, something like that. I use the whole can. Let her rip. Don't let the water pool. Just sort of give it the water as it takes it. Okay, so that's all the water I'm gonna have to do. Now you get a piece of plastic. This isn't quite big enough, but it's close. I'm just doubling this up because it's a bit too big for this bed. It's pretty close. It's a little big, but anyway. Just fold this corner under. Put the plastic on, like this. I'm gonna have to lay a couple rocks on this to keep it from blowing away, because that happens. Um, that's no big deal. So, you know, lay something on it to keep it from blowing away. But what this plastic will do is that it will, uh, it'll allow the soil to warm up, but it will keep the water that's in the soil that I just added here from evaporating. It'll just sort of stay. And so I don't have to worry about, it's going to be really sunny the next, next four days. It's going to be high of 27C, no rain in sight. Um, so this would dry up pretty quickly, exposed like this. Um, so um, using this technique, uh, it's not going to dry out. And uh, you know, in about four or five days, after about four days, five days, you got to sort of come out every day and just take a little peek. You know, I come out in the garden every morning anyway for at least 15 minutes, have a look around, see what's going on, see what needs to be do uh, done. Um, but uh, you take a little peek. As soon as you see them pop themselves out, uh, you got to take the plastic off. Let me show you a bed where I did this last week, about a week ago. Yeah, so here's a bed where uh, you can see they're starting to, I noticed this yesterday, they were just, just starting to break through the soil yesterday morning. So I took the plastic off because I didn't want them, actually I noticed around noon, I think. Anyway, I didn't want them to cook. Now they haven't all germinated, right? But I mean, every seed's a, bit, a little bit different, right? So they, you know, as soon as they start coming out, you got to get that plastic off. You'll kill them all. <laughs> but I didn't have to water this for a week, despite really not getting much rain or anything like that. So, you know, it, it works. It's a, it's a great, simple, easy, easy way to get your, your beans started. So, I hope you found that interesting. A little tip there. If, uh, if you did, please like, share, subscribe. Check out my podcast, MaritimeGardening.com. And until next time, get out there, get at it, have fun in your garden. Thanks for watching.